Hi guys, and welcome to this pick a card reading. I am Vibrant Soul Tarot, and I'm extremely excited to have you here today. Today's reading is all about if your crush or the person on your mind likes you back. If you like somebody and you have been having somebody on your mind and you're wondering if they feel the same way or what's going on with them, then this is the perfect reading for you. So we have these four piles to choose from. I'll start with pile number one. We have this card right here, as well as this stone carving crystal bear. Pile number two, we have this Swan Jasper Star Stone. Pile number three, we have this Blue Agate Stone. And pile number four, we have this Pyrite Stone. So for your convenience, when you are ready, I will put the timestamps below in the description box for each pile. You can pause the video here if you need to, to uh, give yourself some more time to choose. If you know your pile, that's great too. If uh, you're drawn to multiple piles, then maybe your crush has a little bit mixed feelings. Who knows? But when you are ready, I will see you at your pile to uh, find out if your crush is crushing on you back. I can't wait, guys. Bye! Hi, pile one. If you chose this card and this carving of a crystal bear, then these messages are for you. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is the card that you chose. Then we're going to pull some uh, more tarot cards and get the oracles out here too. So we can get a full picture if your crush likes you back or not. So the first card that we have is the Page of Swords. Wow. So this is definitely telling me that this person is interested in you. This person is definitely trying to learn more about you. I think this person may even watch your social media. And I don't think that this person is 100% like letting it known, like be known how observant that they are. But the Page of Swords basically sums up the fact that they are trying to learn more about you. Maybe they're trying to see like where your intentions are. Or they're trying to see, um, you know, if this is something potentially that could be either good for them or bad for them. But all in all, this is a, a good sign that they are definitely interested in you. So we're going to take a look at some tarot and then we're going to see. I already told you that, didn't I? <laughs> Alright, so today we're asking Spirit if the person on your mind pile one likes you back. So does Pile One's crush like them back? Ooh, we have the Hierophant coming out, first card. This is about commitment as well. As I think maybe even this person asks other people about you, they try to get advice about you as well too. Here, with this Hierophant, let's go ahead and pull some more cards. Okay, so we have the Eight of Wands, and this was coming up in reverse, and that actually feels right to bring it in reverse here. Okay, interesting. We have the Nine of Wands as well. So right off the bat, I can see that this person, again, like we said, is interested in you. Um, They may or may not be thinking about um some like long-term commitment here, or even if it's just in their imagination at this point. But with this Eight of Wands, I feel like they aren't really making it clear or they're not making direct action towards you because with this Nine of Wands, this person is still kind of very guarded here. I think that they are maybe going through some things as well. They're going through some things in their life that haven't been the easiest. They're, you know, they kind of have this like, Let me stop talking. I got interrupted by the cards. So we have the sun as well as the seven of pentacles. Bottom of the deck, though, we have the ten of wands. I feel like. And then now we have the seven of wands. So yeah, this person does have some strong boundaries up right now. Um, definitely has a wall up here. But I do see with the seven of pentacles and the sun, they definitely see potential in you. They see that this could actually 
lead somewhere somewhere positive but for whatever reason this person has some blockages it could be like some past things that they're holding on to some weight that they're carrying as well so let's go ahead and um see what oracles we have here so the first card we have for you is suffering and silence this is kind of like that nine of oh i think this is like the nine of wands actually so we have suffering and silence we have material and spiritual prosperity we have healthy choices as well as commit to me interesting we also have attachments within the next few months and then we have pay attention to the red flags and we have religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path interesting and if you hear this snoring um that is my dog fyi i think i say that in almost every video because he's like attached to my hip and he sleeps next to me so it's not me breathing really loud fyi okay so pile one let's talk about it this person definitely likes you i think this person is very guarded i think this person has either with this suffering in silence I think this person has been alone for a while or maybe has just been in a period of isolation, almost like a dark night of the soul type of energy. And I think that this person is actually going through a lot of spiritual lessons or has been going through a lot of spiritual lessons and guidance. And um, that is causing them to shed a lot of things that um, they once like shed how they do things is what I'm hearing. And what I mean by that is that I think when it comes to relationships and things like that in the past, this person didn't have the healthiest mindset about it, or they didn't have go about it the healthiest ways. Maybe they were a little bit toxic at times. Who knows? I know that word is like way overused, but I feel like that, um, was the type of energy that they're in now i think that this person still has and is still maybe holding on to some grief here and is still holding on to some past situations that maybe weren't the best for them and so they're kind of in this like in between right now where they do like you they do see potential but you know what spirit is actually bringing up to me right now that you know we go through healing journeys and we think that we're healed and we're, and we're better and boom um, all of a sudden relationships and like in love interests are the first thing that makes us realize that we still have so much work to do and I think that's kind of sums up here the energy of this person right now so it's not that they're like not good for you I think it's just that they're still going through um a lot of learning right now and they're still growing and they're still realizing like Maybe that's sometimes they're the problem. <laughs> and I don't know why that's coming up, but maybe it's like they have, I think that this person, okay. Sorry, I keep getting interrupted by like messages. So if it sounds like I'm like hopping from one subject to the other, that's exactly why. So just try to bear with me, pile one. But I think that this person is definitely still in somewhat of a victim mindset here. And what I mean by that is, is that this person still blames like whether this is just in general or this is past relationships, but they still blame their exes and their like significant others that did them dirty as in like pointing the finger. And I know that's like sounds normal because that's what most people do. So it's really not that big of a deal. But really, I think what's something that they need to learn in, in order to have healthy relationships is that they play a big part in in the problem as well and it's almost like this a shadow work type of energy like you know to see that you're not always as um innocent i guess and i and i as you know you would like to be and i don't want to think or say you know anything that makes this person seem like a bad person because i don't think that this person's a bad person at all i think this person is just going through some sort of spiritual journey here and they're waking up and so with this we have within the next few months now when this card came out i was like that seems like a long time even though it's not but i think because it doesn't matter what time you're watching this I think this has something to do with when I, the time that I'm making this is literally like a few days before the new year 2023 and I, and I think that is symbolic to this person having a tremendous amount of, of growth and changes in their life 
within these next couple months. And I think this person is working towards a more stable situation, whether that's like a career or, you know, mentally, physically, whatever. Like, I think this person is, is heading in the right direction. It's just right now, I think they have a lot going on. So I feel this is coming for you, Pile One, to let you know that this person is interested in you. I think this person is guarded. I think this person is very like observant, especially with this, like pay attention to the red flags. This is, I don't think in necessarily talking about um, what this person is doing as an AKA a red flag. I think this is bringing this up for the, for you to realize that this person is like very like on guard watching is like, okay, if pile one does, you know, I don't want to say like they're picky, too picky, but it's like, if they're like, if pile one shows any signs of cheating, then I'm out. And I think that's a good example here too, because we have commit to me. I think this person uh, doesn't really feel like you only have one suitor. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but I think that this person has definitely has some commitment issues and want someone to be fully committed to them when they're kind of not in a place right now to fully commit as well. Now, and, I, and I'm hearing right now, this may not be what you want to hear, but there's a lot of hope for this situation too, and a lot of growth. And so I think spirit is coming in to tell you to take this slow, to pay attention, obviously, to um, this person's signals not really so much what they say what they do and see how things uh you know progress aka within the next few months but i think that this person has actually like i said been alone recently for a long time whether that's a, or i guess whether it's a long time or not or like just recently been alone and so they aren't like they're not just gonna let any like anyone in and I think that they do want to let you in and I think they do want to grow with you. I just think that this person is very much still a little bit like wounded and I don't know if it's wounded from like ex like I, I keep saying I don't know because I don't know if it's like from a, a relationship or if it's just life in general but you know once you've been like alone for a while I think okay and also so I'm hearing this suffering and silence as well I think it's like this person has been craving some intimacy and I think that this means because it is a nine I think this means that this part it is coming to an end it's just this person is shedding their skin I like it's it's very interesting and I think that you are a great influence on this person and I think that you are in this person's life for a specific reason whether that is to show them to grow with them whatever the case is I do feel like you are going to have a huge impact on this person's life pile one and I think that um I think that your patience and compassion here is greatly, greatly appreciated, whether you you feel like that or not. But I'm going to um, pull some other messages real quick that I did not have ready because I didn't think I was going to. So, excuse me. Okay, so what does Pile One need to know about this person? Love, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. That's beautiful. What does pile need to, one need to know about this situation? Blame. Yeah, that's... Okay. We're going to talk about it, but I'm going to pull one more. In relationships, I attract those people who serve my higher good. Okay, so this is kind of clarification. I feel, oh, and empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of the situation. And honesty kind of goes with this too, but we don't have time to... I'll just briefly explain what I'm feeling or hearing right now when it comes to this. Okay, so this person definitely... This is clarification that this person hasn't had the easiest relationships in their life. And what they're going through right now is really trying to stop 
blaming the other person and and really just taking it taking it in and seeing that this these situations and these people have came into this person's life for a reason and even though it wasn't easier or wasn't um seemingly like like it was love i feel like this person is realizing right now that it was and i think this is going to be within that next couple of months that this person is realizing that um it's not just about it's not just about what this uh, like what the other people or what people in this person's life has done to them it's about what they've learned and and you know how they've set their boundaries as well and i think as well this person wasn't very i think this person's like type i guess you would say hasn't always been the best for them and i think this person is realizing why they're they were attracting this it's like certain type of people into their life and i think you're different for this person pile one which may take this person time um to open up to this but basically yeah they're trying to see which i don't think they're doing this right now though which is why this is like these messages keep coming out really weird because it's like i'm like saying i'm like kind of speaking for this person in future tense right now and i think that's why we had this future card come out within the next few months you know, this person is a little bit bitter right now, if I could be quite honest. And this has nothing to do with you. I feel like this is only coming out for you, Pile One, just for you to, to realize that this person is guarded because of other situations. And this is a part of this person's path to realize that... Um, there was good there was growth and there was love in these in these connections regardless and it's like about how they play a role in their relationships too and i think this is also for you as well you know to to realize that um we all play a certain parts and i think that your empathy here may allow this person to feel very comfortable and to open up to you in ways that you probably had never even expected or realized and with that being said it's just going to take some patience and some time here but i think that this person is growing through things and i think that this person still has resentments and still has anger and as long as you don't internalize those if you guys do continue this connection and you don't internalize those as your own then i think you'll be just fine pile one with whatever uh happens here so yeah, I'm going to leave this reading here. Thank you so much if you stay till uh, the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss another one. Oh, and I feel like I'm just basically going over and briefing that this person does like you back. I don't know if that was very clear here, but I'm going to say this person does like you back. And I think this person has fears in regards to that due to... Uh, maybe liking people back that weren't the best for them, kind of what we were talking about as well too. So to answer your question, yes, this person does like you back. They are just very guarded. They're kind of a little bit on edge here. And I think that uh, they are in kind of a bit of a runner energy too. So just keep that in mind. And good luck to you, Pile One. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Hi, Pile 2, and welcome to your reading. If you chose this Swan Jasper star and this card, then these messages are for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at the card that you chose, and then we're going to pull some tarot cards, additional tarot cards, and uh, see what oracles you got as well. So the card that you chose is the Four of Pentacles as the overall energy for this reading here and so i feel like this is this is more sentimental than it is just with the pentacles as in like trying to um build someone's like finances as well i mean this could also have to do with the, what this person's like majority like what the majority of their energy is going into it could be trying to build 
um, some security here. But for the most part, what I'm reading from this is that I feel like this person does feel very secure with you. I feel like around you, this person feels safe as well. And I do feel like this person, for whatever reason, I mean, <laughs> I don't want to say for whatever reason, obviously they have good reasons. They do feel a need to hold on to you here with this four of pentacles. The person in the four of pentacles is always holding on very tightly to their assets. Some would say almost too tight here, but since this is a crush reading, I'm going to kind of read it a little bit lighter and I'm going to say that this person does want to um, secure you, I guess you would say. And secure the bag, because I heard secure the bag too. So maybe this person wants to bring in more security for you or is working towards that and finds comfort in um, some stability that you offer to them, whether that's if you have offered it or they just sense it. I think for a lot of you, this is an overall like sensing some um, security within you. Maybe, maybe some security that this person has felt like they haven't had in a long time. Who knows? Let's go ahead and... Um, get some tarot cards here though all right spirit so does pile two's crush like them back can you tell me about pile two's crush this is kind of a lot of cards but i'm going to take them that was easy okay so we have the two of cups we have the eight of pentacles here the five of pentacles and the knight of pentacles so i just first off with the four of pentacles being the overall energy we have so much earth energy here as well too so we have virgo capricorn and taurus very much present here as well as uh some water energy with the cups but i'm gonna pull one more card and then we're gonna see the oracles here Okay, that's a lot of cards so we have the full here kind of coming in as a little bit of a sideways block and i feel like i know why but you guys have the king of pentacles the three of pentacles and the knight of wands those are noted bottom of the deck we have the four of wands i'm already liking this energy i just feel I don't want to say too much actually already let's go ahead and get the oracles and then we'll talk about everything and you did get a lot of oracles so apologies if they don't fit all in the screen i will try to bring them up when they are relevant let's make some more room here though okay so the first card we have is light second card we have is authority so we have two fours, which is really talking about, yeah, stability. We have, I dislike you right now, which don't be alarmed. This card has surprisingly has been coming up in like so many readings and even like personal readings too. And I'll explain it. It's not that this person does not like you because that is not the energy that I'm getting at all from this. It's um a little complicated, but we'll talk about it right now. Okay, and then so we have love yourself first. We have past life relationship. You've known each other before. I love that. I think this is why this person feels drawn to you, Pile 2. I think this is why this person feels um, secure with you. I do feel like you and this person have a deep, deep connection. No matter how long you've known each other right now, I do feel this is very, very much relevant here to your reading, okay? We also have heartbroken. Oh, and we have axe. Okay. Again, we're already running out of room. Okay, so we have caring connections. And we have yes. See, look, we have a flat out yes that this person does have feelings for you, that they do like you back. I heard that you're not crazy. Like, if you've been thinking about this person like a ridiculous amount and you kind of shame yourself for doing that, don't do not do that anymore. You don't need to give yourself any more shame because you're definitely not crazy. This person is feeling it too. It doesn't matter how vocal they are about it or if they admit it or whatever they're going through. I do feel like this is confirmation that it's okay, that you, it's normal to be feeling how you're feeling. <laughs> um, I guess we'll just put that right here. I guess we can fit it all there. Okay. So pile two, let's talk about it. This person is energy is is hurting my heart right now because they definitely care about you. They see and feel 
very, very much strong things. And we have the Two of Cups here, which means that they do want a relationship. So what I was saying about that fool coming in sort of like sideways as it could be a block is because I think and the cards think and the spirit knows that this person has definitely been very hurt in the past by other people whether this is just romantically i would assume most of it would be romantically or like just this person has felt betrayed by a lot of the people i think in their lives and so this fool to me is coming out as a block a little bit because it's almost like this is going to be hard for them it's it's a it's very risky for them and uh, and talk about a leap of faith to put all their faith and trust into someone again i think is very hard very much hard for this person i think this person is trying to be very strong and i think they're trying to make the best decisions possible that they can right now with this authority and this four of pentacles and i think all this person is really craving right now is to feel safe so the fact that i got that energy in this that this person can feel safe with you is is so beautiful but also it's very scary for them because they don't know if they can trust themselves fully to feel safe here you know with you because of like how they've been hurt now the eight of pentacles is telling me that this person does kind of bury themselves in their work a lot of the time to distract themselves but the fact that we have the two of cups coming up after that it means that it's probably not working <laughs> like they, they're still thinking about you a lot they're still you could have met this person at work too this could have had something to do with um some sort of financial issues just because we have so much uh pentacles here it's crazy but this person could also be an earth sign too it doesn't have to be um anyways though i think this light coming out is so beautiful because i think they're like starting to feel and see this light again in the dark and i don't think that this person was like fully like depressed or anything like that like i mean they could be but you know what i'm saying it's not like this person was like living in the dark i think it's just that this person didn't know what they were missing until these feelings started stirring within them again but now i do want to caution you because these feelings have started stirring in this person again this is a little bit scary for this person this person has felt this five of pentacles energy i think one too many times here and i think that this person is also as well maybe like i feel like i'm getting the energy here of like a saturn return now it doesn't have to be the case because that's only like for a certain age an age group of people it's usually like 27 to like i think 30 29 depends anyways that doesn't matter here i think this person has gone through some losses taken some losses and is also trying to regain some sort of stability here too whether that's like moving this is financial this is like investments and the wrong thing who knows but i think that this person is is just all in all kind of feeling some sort of a struggle here but let's talk about <sighs> caring connections means that this person and i think this card is coming up as along with the two of cups here to tell you that this is a this is a potentially very beautiful connection two people coming together that can help each other grow and help each other heal and things like that i think that's very beautiful but we have this love yourself first here which is all about i think this person had to decide to put themselves first in a lot of past connections and that caused and i think maybe loving themselves first could have been leaving these past connections as well too but whatever has happened this person has felt some 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 hard heartaches and some pains here when it comes to the people in their life and their relationships because there's a lot of focus here on relationships as well this could also be family and stuff that has made this person have to put themselves first and love themselves first here but i do see this this ending up in a in, in turning into a very positive light for you and this person i think and i think this i dislike you right now as well is like because of the things that this person has been through they might just not be too keen on like on people in general right now it's not that they actually don't like you because this yes to me is clearly indicating and these cards actually all of this is clearly indicating to me that they do it's just i think that this person like has 
a little bit of resentments here, especially with heartbroken. And then we have acts like I think that this person has felt abandoned. And I think that this person has also like had to cut a lot of people off because, you know, an axe like sh shing, like it cuts through. And maybe this person has been cut very deep as well, too. Um, all in all, though, I do feel like this person is is kind of excited about you. And I think that this person, because we have light here as well, too, I think this person sees something in you that they haven't seen it in, that is different from like other past relationships and other past people, which I feel like is is great for you, Pile 2. <laughs> but um, let's go ahead and get some. I'm kind of, I mean, these messages are kind of short today because I feel like I oh and I am coming out and it, it's not going to be like a s literal like it's not going to say like second part but I am going to be doing like a follow-up I feel like on this person in the next reading so look out for that too I don't know what it's going to be titled and I don't know when it's going to be so I don't even know why I'm telling you this because <laughs> but don't forget to subscribe though and you'll see it <laughs> Okay, so what are some messages here for pride? I love myself and I see myself in everyone. I'm just gonna say for pile two, what are some messages here? Change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. And patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. <laughs> then the bottom we have freedom. I'm called to get this deck again, and I think for whatever reason, I just want to, like, peek at the bottom. I think it had something to do with. So we have within the next few weeks, but let's go ahead and see. And then I'll explain all these right now. Oh, there's one flipped over. What is this? Perfect timing. Okay, this is again like that divine timing here, too. I think now we have look for a sign. Okay, let me focus here because it's all. All right. I think this is working. This is going to work out exactly the way it should. And I think divine timing is a huge part in here. Not just not not just that things come together when they're supposed to. It's almost like you and this person are brought into each other's life at the most perfect time possible. And I think that it's beautiful. I think this is something that um i you know i think that this pride is coming out because this person not only may be a little bit prideful but i think and i heard i ain't too proud to beg that is so funny and relevant for this too i think that this person the reason why there's patience here too is that this person may just need a little bit warming up to and it's not because like they don't feel these feelings for you or anything like that i think it's just because they're like, it's so hard to explain the image that I'm getting. Like, Spirit, why would you give me that image right now? For whatever reason, I'm like seeing someone with glasses and they're like peeking over. Like, they're like looking at, I guess you would be like who they're looking at, Pile 2. And it's like, the like you're like talking and you're like doing stuff. And it's like, they're trying to act like they don't care. They're trying to act like they're not looking. But everything that you say is just intriguing them even more. And they're like, they're, they're like peeking over. It's like almost like they're at a desk or like work something. And it, it, this doesn't have to like be the imagery like it doesn't have to fit but it's like but it's like they're like they're like hmm, acting like they don't care and then like the more that you talk and it's not even like you're talking to them they're just overhearing you and they're just like wow like this person is just like i but then their pride gets in their way and they're like no 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 we can't do this again i can't do this again you know what i'm saying and so this is the energy that i'm getting here and it's really funny it's it's actually kind of funny but um but you are going to bring this person a, a huge amount of change. And I think this person is going to change their perspective and they're going to change their um, their actions, I feel, very soon. Especially with this Knight of Pentacles, too, and this patience. These are go hand in hand. The Knight of Pentacles is someone that is very patient here. The Knight of Pentacles is someone that does not leave any stone unturned, is very careful, and knows that uh, the, what is it, the slow, the, the slow and steady wins the race. Okay, and this is like the energy that this person has here too. So I think that this is very beautiful and I think that it's 
it's all happening when it's supposed to happen okay so you can't rush this is is i think a huge message here you can't don't let your pride get in the way and your feelings get in the way and want to rush this i think this is happening exactly the way it's supposed to this person is like seeing things and hearing things that they're supposed to for whatever reason that is is making them change or changing their mind for i don't I don't know, but, um, <laughs> that, that would be for a whole nother reading and, and, and all that stuff too. But anyways, <sighs> yeah, the orange is really standing out to me here too, with this desires. I think this person's desires and this wants are going to overcome their logical thinking and, and maybe overcome like their need for safety and security at this time. Excuse me. I just burped, but, um, with that being said, the, this is like, I think with that, like divine order and stuff like that, I think this person is like, I think they may be a little bit pessimistic right now when it comes to like people and when it comes to relationships due to, which is understandable if, they, if they've been hurt and, and stuff and, and or maybe they just had, they didn't have the best connections before, but this is something that they're growing through, they're learning through. And I think this is something that your light is something that they truly, truly have needed. I think this is a very divine connection. Um, so take that information with what you will. And um, just know that you're, I think you're doing everything right so far in pile two. So I'm going to leave this reading here. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss another one. And I will see you guys at the next one. Bye. Hi, Pile 3, and welcome to your reading. If you chose this card and this blue stone, then these messages are for you. So first things first, oops, first things first, Um, I was already like recording this reading. Okay, well, so let me just explain. I had everything. We pulled the tarot. I was explaining it. Everything was you making sense, blah, blah, blah. You know how it goes. And it wasn't even recording the whole time. So that's a little bit frustrating. I don't know why that happened. I think that maybe if you and this person have had a false start or maybe you and this person had tried to do things, um, maybe try to talk to each other or whatever in the past and it didn't really work out, that could be symbolic to that. Or I could just be really dumb and not know how to press the record button at times and that is 100% my fault. So with that being said, <laughs> let's take a look at the card that you chose. So this is the overall energy and what I was saying before, it's because it is the nine of pentacles, they are viewing you in this light, this very beautiful, magnetic, um, abundant person here. And I think a message that I heard when I was recording or recording it earlier was like, how do you give someone some someone like how do you give someone something that has everything and that could have came out really butchered but i think you see where i'm getting here it's like they're viewing you as the person who kind of has it all whether you feel like that or not and so i don't know if this person is a little bit insecure because of that if they feel like they may not add any benefit to your life or any substance to your life right now which i don't think that's true at all but it's like they're viewing you at this high standard in this high light pile three to where it's like this person has everything like already like they don't need me and um but they want to you is is the truth of the matter here okay so let's go ahead and pull some tarot let's see if the cards are the same or if they're different or who knows but today we are asking if the person on pile three's mind likes them back oh we have the page of wands it's already telling me that, yeah, you have sparked an interest in this person. They are very interested in you. Okay. All right. We have the Five of Pentacles in the knight of pentacles and already this is similar to pile two so if you felt drawn to pile two there could be some important messages in there for you because i for whatever reason there's similar cards coming out and i'm getting a similar vibe already i don't even remember what was said because my memory is like completely horrible when i'm doing readings but i just know 
Okay, and then, so we have Justice here as well. It's also Libra energy. Oh, and then we have the Magician. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Bottom of the deck, we have Strength. And I do feel like pulling that. Oh, and the Four of Pentacles was a big theme in... Um, pile two too so if you ever if you had any doubts if you should go check pile two out then i think this is your sign to go check pile two out the first card we have here is past life which i don't mean to keep bringing it up i mean this is, this is the last time i swear but this was a theme in pile two as well okay so in past life we also have passion which i love that right underneath the page of wands we have perfect timing as well as let your friends help you. I think I'm gonna like put these together. We have balance, oh my gosh, which is like literally this justice card. They're both number 11 and I think that's what it's supposed to be. So we got a double confirmation for that as well as we have the card envy, door to romance and the magician and the mirror in reverse and we have the magician upright right here too dang this energy is very it's very passionate but it's also very frustrating pile three let's let's talk about this real fast this person definitely is seeing you in such a beautiful light that they almost feel like they could never have a chance with you or they could never like be a part of your life. And I think this is self-esteem issues for this person. For whatever reason, this person is like jealous of anyone who gets to come in contact with you. And I don't know if you are in contact with this person or if you talk all the time because I don't, if they, if you do talk to this person all the time, I don't see why they would be like that. But it's like, it's almost like with this envy too. It's like, they're all like, and, you know, living their life and seeing you <laughs> live your life and just want to be a part of it so bad. We have Door to Romance here, which in the, uh, before when it wasn't recording, we had the Ace of Cups. So this is telling me for sure they want us, they do want some sort of romantic connection here. They do like you. We have passion here too. This is, that's not even really a question here. The question is, is like, if are they going to muster up this courage to um, try to see if, if this is going to work, or to try to make some things happen here? I think with strength here is coming, it's very beautiful. Oh, we also have Libra and, and Leo energy. I don't know if that's relevant, but we have like double Libra right here too. Um, anyways, um, I don't know if they're... I think this person has like it not just insecurities but jealousy issues and I think that you to them how they view you is someone who is very popular or at least well like whether this is true or not you know this is just someone's perspective okay so like if you're like what the heck like I don't have any friends I don't think you don't have any friends in fact I think quite the opposite but um you know if you're saying that just know that this is how this strictly this person's perspective okay um though it's like oh you know what I'm getting like a, a like this person could be very introverted and they're view viewing you as someone who's very extroverted and I think this is beautiful with that balance right here too the balance of like you complimenting each other but this five of pentacles is like this person feels like you don't see them in in the light that they see you or maybe this person feels that they've gone unnoticed or you've like left them behind or for whatever reason you know what i'm saying i feel like this person feels a little bit unseen or maybe i think this person has these deep this passion and these this feeling of this deep connection with this past life with you and they might think of themselves a little bit crazy or they might think that it, they're the only ones that have that feeling and um and so I think that you know maybe telling you how they feel or expressing themselves or wanting something here is a little bit scary for them because I think that they uh want 
to know like I feel like they were they're trying to like I feel like they might be like sitting back and observing as well too and trying to decide like trying to like feel you out and and see like how how it is your feeling and I think that maybe if you are a very kind person or you are a very friendly person if you are like if you do flirt with this person they might think like they might brush it off and then just be like oh well, well they're like that to everybody you know and I think that there it's not the case I think that this person like maybe misses some signs as well of like you if you've ever hinted to this person that you like them or whatever they may like they might go like right over this person's head because they're like there's no way like this person could be interested in me it's very um it's very cute if I do say so myself but it's also kind of a little bit sad it's like um it's like they're like hello I'm over here like don't you see me and um but this perfect timing I think uh, this perfect timing I think is like uh, things are gonna come to light for you and this person in in just the right time I think there's things that uh this person's realizing and maybe even you're realizing about each other and this like kind of and that's going to happen in the perfect time. Like, I think this is like a, it's like when it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Again, for some of you, if you did have like a false start, which is where like you and this person were interested in each other and stuff, and then uh, it didn't happen. It's because this perfect timing is coming out because it wasn't the right time. But for a lot of you, I think this, that made this person feel like you didn't want them or you didn't like them. And so that kind of is um is it affected them when it comes to making moves towards you now like I think that they may just be a little bit discouraged if I could be quite honest here especially with the magician in the mirror in reverse this is like them almost thinking that they don't have what it takes or they don't have the power to make this happen and so it's like they're sitting back and watching you and thinking like oh, why can't I be a part of this person's life or why couldn't it have worked out before you know and um and it's really funny that this is like this envy is right here next to this door to romance because this is exactly what they're wanting this is exactly what they're waiting for and this person's actually by a door as well too so it's like they're waiting for this door to open or maybe they're waiting for this the right opportunity to approach you as well here and i feel like with this let your friends help you they do ask about you if they are in contact with any of your friends they might be like planning or wanting to um address them and just be like hey like does so and so like ever talk about me do they you know do they say anything to you and stuff and this is the kind of energy it's like they're trying to be very careful here about approaching you and I think it's because they don't want to mess this up they do feel like you and this person like have it insane chemistry and I think that they I think they have a clue they have somewhat of an idea that you like them or that you know that they're not al alone here and that could be like their inner like being telling them this but I think it's again like a confidence thing and I don't think that this person actually normally has like confidence issues that that, that could be coming to you as a as a surprise oh my gosh I can't even talk maybe this person can't even articulate how they feel for you maybe that's why they get really nervous around you because I was like stuttering they could be very nervous around you too but um anyways this person um now I forgot what I was saying Wow, that whole thought just... Oh, oh, confidence. Yeah, okay. So basically this person may not be like... It's not that this person doesn't isn't confident maybe in their everyday life. I think it's just when it comes to you, especially because they're viewing you in this nine of pentacles energy, like a person who is just radiant. This is like a very attraction energy. Like they are very attracted to you. And I think it's if they're not making any moves towards you, it's because they're weighing out things constantly. I think this person is overthinking a lot of things and um, maybe has somewhat of a wrong idea about you because of like maybe something that they've heard or it's just or or it's it all goes back to like really an insecurity here but for the most part you know to answer the question that you're here for which I think we have is that yes they do like you uh yes they do want to be more than friends and I think that they're getting a little bit frustrated that they're not if I could be quite honest and I think it's making they feel a little bit powerless here to the connection into in, in their own feelings like the magician and this card upright would be like 
you you know you you it's it's the energy of like you create your own reality blah 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 you know you have like control over things you feel like you are in power to create something beautiful so it's just coming up as a block because this is how they're they're not for whatever reason i think they're feeling a bit discouraged does not mean that the feelings aren't there does not mean that they won't ever like come up to you and tell you or anything like that it's just they feel a little bit powerless right now oh uh, another thing that i wanted to talk about is past life and this is something that I think you and this person share together. I think that you and this person have known each other for a long time, past lives. Um, whether this is just like, for some of you, I guess this could be just like, a, maybe like that false star energy, like the past, wanting, trying to work things out in the past. But for most of you, I feel like this person is, and, and we do have justice here actually, which does signify karma and things coming at a part of your karmic path not in in a necessarily negative way when, when i say like this person's karmic most people are like oh my gosh what it's like that means they're gonna come in they're gonna ruin my life that's not what i mean here that's not the case here uh someone a, a part of your karmic path is just someone that you know it was written in the, the stars whatever you believe it is written and that this person is meant to come into your life for divine reasons and i think it, the fact that past life is coming out means that you know you guys had some some unfinished business and I think this is why this you and this person may be feeling these feelings for each other so strongly maybe even so quickly as well for some of you because this it's not your first rodeo here you guys have known each other before your souls recognize each other okay so you and this person aren't um weird or crazy for thinking so strongly maybe about about how you feel um and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get some other messages. What does Pile 3 need to know, Spirit, about this situation? About this person? Oh, this tricky little doubt energy coming through. Yeah, I think you and this person both have doubts about each other's wants and feelings and stuff. And I think this is definitely, definitely something that is clear. And this person's um, reading that they may doubt uh, their, they may doubt like, you know, the, basically what I was saying right now about like, you know, you guys aren't weird or crazy or it's not uh, for no reason that you guys feel these, the, these feelings or feel this way about each other. And I think this person does doubt that a lot. Um, I think this person has doubts that you like them, and I think um, you may even do that too. So maybe it's time for you to stop doubting <laughs> like what you feel and to uh, just follow your instincts, follow your heart and, and your feelings. And and um, also, I, it does say I release the need to know all the answers. Um, you may be the type to watch a lot of tarot readings about this person. Um, or maybe just wanting to know like what the future holds and I, I, I will be honest it does look pretty promising you know I, I can't promise you that it's going to be happily ever after or anything like that but it does look like you know it, there's a lot of potential here so I would stop doubting that honestly and I would just um, you know surrender to the feelings that you guys have for each other. Okay, what else does Pile 3 need to know about this humor? Oh, I love that energy. There's a lot of green here, too. A lot of heart chakra energy as well, too. Um, I do feel like it is a little bit darker, so maybe it's time to clear your heart chakra energy. It does seem a little bit murky. The best way to do that is, you know, looking on the bright side of life and, and laughing and stuff. And I feel like humor is something that could bring you and this person together. Um as well and maybe not take things so seriously uh not and to to yeah just kind of approach each other or the situation in a lighter like light and I think it'll go a lot smoother and it, 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 it won't be as like intense I feel like this person could be quite funny and maybe a little bit goofy as well and I think that's something that you like I mean who doesn't and so letting each other just be free and goofy and and silly i think is is something that is on not only very healing just in general but could be very um healing and um magnetic for this connection we have more balance energy too we have a lot of balance energy uh here we have balance and then we have justice and so with that is like i think 
<sighs> balancing balancing like I think this person ne needs to balance their inner like emotions like kind of like when they feel like this doubt or when they feel this insecurities and stuff they think that it, it's best for them to kind of come back to center and then they'll be able to you know act upon in the way that they their true self wants to and this could be something for you too or maybe this is also a beautiful um sign that you and this person do balance each other out very well i think that could be definitely a, a beautiful message here too since we do have so much of it like so much balancing here also, that it signifies a lot of Libra energy. Okay, we have indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. That's kind of coming back into balance, kind of coming back to your center and stuff to make the correct decisions that you want. Um, oh, we have double envy too. This person is very... This person's... I don't know if this person just like thinks and assumes because I'm just, I'm saying assume because we all know that everyone has like their own challenges. Everyone has their, has not, come on, like we're on earth here. Not, and there's not one singular person that has had it like 100% easy their whole life. And if this person feels like you have, then they um, need to open up their perspective and see that, you know, that it's there's no reason, re reason to be jealous. Or maybe this person is jealous over, like, other people, too. And that's something that they need to work on, like, severe jealousy issues. But I, for whatever reason, it's like this person is jealous of, like, the life that you have. I don't know why that's coming up. And I don't know if that's true for everyone. So don't just only take that if it resonates. But it's like they think that you've just maybe had everything handed to you. And they're like... Um, over here struggling and you know they need to recognize that that's not the case that everyone goes through their own trials and tribulations and stuff like that too um and that's something or maybe just just seeing that the grass isn't always greener on the other side as well too like maybe this person is a little bit uh doesn't have that much gratitude I guess you would say and is always like why does this happen to me or something I don't know uh, actually why this is coming up I think those are in relations to this person's like mindset so with that being said um yeah just check this person if they get really jealous or check this person if they if they think um you know that your life is all fine and dandy like we all have things to or you know what you maybe just let them think that hey i'm not here to tell you how to live your life um that was my aries moon <laughs> speaking <laughs> speaking for you that was my aries moon saying yeah just check this person <laughs> but anyways um yeah and you know this actually brings me back to the one of the cards one of the tarot cards in the reading before um that wasn't recording was the two of swords so i think this is telling this is for you to realize that this person maybe is still a little bit indecisive they're still kind of weighing out things if they're not making a move or whatever um and i feel the need to tell you that you don't have to wait for other people to make decisions for you as well too you can do uh, you can act on whatever it is that you want to act as well too and um you know save save some time if you're gonna wait for this person to come around that's perfectly fine too or you're gonna wait for this person to finally we I feel like I know what this person wants here it's just they doubt themselves a lot oh we have doubt yeah they doubt themselves a lot they're very insecure about I think the future and what the future holds for whatever reason with this connection so um yeah so I think there's a message here for you too pile three that you don't have to wait for other people to come around you can make your own decisions and decide what it is that you want you can approach this person or you can do honestly it's your life whatever the hell you want here so to remember that you always have the power to decide okay <laughs> and I think I'm going to leave your reading here thank you so much if you stay till the end uh don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss another reading and I will see you guys again bye hi pile four and welcome to your reading if you chose this piece of pyrite and this card and these messages are for you so the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the card that you chose then we're going to pull some tarot and I already had some oracles for the sake of time and we're going to get the bigger picture and see if the person that you like or the person that is on your mind is liking you the same way back so let's go ahead and look at the card okay <laughs> so the card that you chose is the three of swords now don't panic this doesn't mean that this person doesn't like you back i think that this is just saying that this person is still healing from something 
major that happened in their life, whether this is a past relationship or just maybe they were going through it. I'm thinking for the majority, though, this is definitely a past relationship. This person is still healing from and has um, some wounds here or like surrounding this. OK, so we're going to still find out if this person is uh, is liking you and stuff. I think this is just something that uh, spirit wants you to be aware of. So maybe they might not be fully emotionally available to you when you need th like need them to be, or they could be very hesitant about making moves towards you because of this. You know, a lot of the times when we get hurt or we get burned in certain uh, scenarios, it's not the easiest thing for us to just open up and trust again. And so with that being said, I think this is just very relevant here to this person's um, actions, behaviors, and overall current energy. So now let's go ahead and see what the tarot has to say. So today we are asking if the person on pile four's mind likes them back spirit can you tell us if the person on pile four's mind likes them back okay i think we're gonna pull with this one mm -mm -mm. all right so we have the nine of wands four of pentacles we have the queen of swords the ace of pentacles and temperance bottom of the deck we have the sun okay interesting now um you did get a lot of oracles so i'm gonna try to fit them all in let's go ahead and take a look we have attraction we have new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. I think this is you. Obviously, it's about you. <laughs> um, let's go ahead. We have Angel of Balance. We have Movement Choices and Decisions. We have Wisdom. As well as Spiritual Strength. Which I believe is um, closer, the equivalent to the Nine of Wands here. We also have Hammer. We have In the Near Future. I'm gonna set that right there. And then for the message cards, we have Talk to Me and You Make Me Feel Alive. Interesting, interesting messages here, pile four. So yes, this person I feel has been in a situation where they, had to especially with this queen of swords i feel like this person had to kind of try to cut um either cut out a lot of people in their life or cut try to cut off their emotions in general this person you may um at times come off a little bit cold but with this temperance here and this angel of balance this is about this person learning to fill their own cup here and and trying not to depend too much on other people and things like that so this person could be maybe trying to figure things out maybe a little bit right now like a little bit lost energy because i do feel like like it said you have stirred romantic feelings in this person i think this person just doesn't know how to feel and i know with a reading like that like the saying like it, does this person like you back that's i to me that's an obvious yes that this person does like you back but that doesn't mean that it's gonna be easy to make things work with this person and i know i'm sorry that's probably maybe not what you want to hear at this time or you might be thinking like oh i got the shitty pile and that's not true this isn't this this does have beautiful potential i think there's just um things that this person has gone through or is still needing to go through so we do have in the near future here too which means that this might us uh, i don't know if it's exactly like this person's going to approach you in the near future for a lot of you that could be the case but what i'm really getting is that you're going to get some clarity here in the near future something important and significant is going to be shown to you here about this person in the near future okay so i would just keep that in mind um, I do love, though, how this card says you make me feel alive and then we have this attraction and new love. I think 
this person was with whatever situation they were in before i think that they didn't think that they could open up again or that they were able to have even have feelings for other people like again and i know that sounds dramatic but sometimes it's true like sometimes we feel so strongly about people in our past that it's like hard to think that we could ever like anyone else when it doesn't work out and i think that's kind of the energy here that they are starting to and i think that it's um i think a lot of patience is definitely definitely involved here but for the most part like we have hammer here which is all about rebuilding and working on things it can also be about sabotage too because you know with the hammer so this could be something that this person is trying to to work on like self-sabotage or sabotaging or maybe even self-sabotage by not pursuing you or not pursuing things could be something significant here as well too but yeah so like the hammer is is the tool here and it could be used to rebuild or it could be used to smash and break down and i think that's for this person still kind of deciding here what they want to do especially with the movement choices and decisions i think this person is um not making any like full-on commitments anytime soon or full-on decisions about maybe pursuing you or pursuing any anything like romantically just as of right now or maybe they have I'm actually hearing before that they have but then they're a little bit wishy-washy and that kind of makes sense too I think so they may be in still a little bit of fear nine of wands here when the nine of wands came what came out the first thing I heard in my head was I'm tired so this person could just be tired of trying to make things work i let's the sun here oof <laughs> the sun coming right after the tower this is okay this is really significant to this this person i think has gone through or maybe is going through significant tower moments right now now this sun is saying that the light is coming uh, you know there is light at the end of the tunnel that it is getting better that this person is healing this person is growing but there was a lot of damage left here with this tower okay and so it's just natural that this person i think is just rebuilding things as well i do feel like this person is viewing you as as a beautiful golden opportunity and i don't think that they want to mess it up um will they i don't know will they not i don't know <laughs> but and i know this this is probably not everything that you want to hear pile four because i think this person is still a little bit and I, that it's it's obviously coming out in the energy and the channeling of this reading this person is still a little bit hesitant very much so hesitant about um about certain things um with wisdom here though this again i'm hearing is a double-edged sword this person has learned a lot um they could take that and they could use it um as in a positive light they can use it for growth they can use it and not like and not internalize it as in like using it as in a self-destructive way i guess is what i'm trying to say so basically it's like it, it, are they mature enough to blame just the other people or are they growing i think this person is growing and i think this person is just doing what they have to do as well too the queen of swords keeps coming up as the overall theme again of this reading and that we, we usually step into our queen of swords energy after some sort of heartbreak where we have to be cold we have to move on and then there's usually someone that is broken up with too so i think a theme here for you as well pile four is that again when i was saying i think i said something in the beginning about this person not being fully emotionally available and it's not your fault and it's not that this person may or may not still have feelings for this past person or this past relationship it's just that they're still heavily you know in this energy of it they could be comparing you to this person in a negative light and that's not fair to you as well too you're your own person you're different unless this was you but i don't think it was you because we have new love <laughs> but but um you know this person has built has gained a lot of strength and i think this person is going to have a lot of strength when it comes to pursuing this i just think that there's a lot of patience involved here with the temperance as well too temperance is always about moderation and patience okay so i think that it's just going to take time 
And like I said, in the near future, maybe something something is going to come up very significant. I actually strongly feel that as well, too. Um, with this, talk to me, though, if you are in contact or not in contact with this person. I think this person does like talking to you. It's just this person, if they don't all the time. I'm hearing this person actually does very much enjoy talking to you. Um, I think this person is just... Yeah, no, I think this person does it does very much enjoy talking to you. I was thinking of something else, but I don't think that that is really necessary here. Um, I, what I was going to say, though, is if this person does talk to you or doesn't talk to you, or is this person's, like, on and off, it's because of how they're feeling that that dictates that. It's not because they don't want to talk to you. It's because that they're, like... I think I think sometimes this person thinks at times when they think about you and they think about this connection, I think they think like, whoa, this is moving a little fast. And that could scare them as well too. Mm, interesting. But we do have attraction here. And I think this person finds you very magnetic, very mag attractive. And I think that this person is going to put these issues to the side. And I think this is uh, something for you to realize as well. Like that um, it's not personal. However, this person, if they're guarded, if they have a wall up, if they're like, especially the nine of wands here too, is the nine of wands is always depicted as someone who's injured. Okay, so this person has been wounded before and now they're trying to heal their wounds. Um, and no matter how long it's been, I, you know, I, I, people grieve differently. And so with this, it's just, it's almost like, it seems to be the big theme of this reading just because it's affecting how this person is approaching you. It's affecting how this person um, is acting towards you for whatever reason, which means that there still is a lot of healing to do. But let's get some more cards here. Okay, what else can you tell me about this situation, please, for Pile 4? I can see why, though, you may may or may not be like, damn, like, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> or if you're like, dang, this is, not the, this is not the messages that I wanted from this pile. But hey, I'm here to just be honest and, and read the honest messages that I'm going, that are here. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, so look, we have patience again. So we have double energy for patience, happiness, and humor. Oh. This person does need uh, a love, something very light and uplifting in their life. And I think this could be you as well. I think you could be very, very healing for this person. Um, I think that maybe you have what it takes to be patient with this person. Obviously, at your not at your own expense, though. Like, that's up to you to decide what it is and what, it, what you're not willing to put up with and, like, your boundaries and things like that. Don't forget that is very important, Pile 4. Not just to, like, okay, like, let this person wait forever, do whatever, you know, at the expense of your own feelings. Of course, your feelings should always come first. So uh, keep that in mind. But I do feel like it's just a matter of time before this person realizes a lot of things and before this person is able to um, make smart decisions, not out of pain, but out of, you know, their heart. Okay. And so I think that, you know, this person it needs like some laughter and some lightheartedness that I think that you may have what this person needs and that could be so healing for you. I mean, humor is like, is one of my favorite cards out of this deck and it has the laughing Buddha too. And I just, because, you know, we all love to laugh and I love goofy people and, you know, and not taking things so seriously. And I think that's maybe coming here to tell you like with, with this patience, like that's the best type of energy to be in. Um, I think that this person needs some, some TLC and you seem to be the one that they want it from so and um, um always be aware of how you feel and how this person's making you feel too if this person isn't making you feel good then maybe it's just not the right time at, at this time too was a message with this happiness or just do things that make you feel happy do things that make you feel good because um it says i am aware that being happy means that i am on the right path so if this person is making you feel miserable i'm not saying this is true i'm just saying as, as an example this person is making you feel miserable too like you know they say misery loves company or if this person seems to be dragging you down or weighing you down or or 
where they're just always like negative, then maybe that's too for you to assign to give this person some space and to let them grieve and stuff like because it's not your job to um uh, convince somebody that you know all people aren't bad or it's not your job to con convince someone that your intentions are good if you've already said that and stated that whatever the case is I don't know why I'm saying this maybe just some person needed to hear this but yeah so to focus on how you feel as well too and I feel like when you're happy this person could be happy as well too if you're around each other just kind of like how it works with the collective when you focus on your own happiness even though to us because we've been taught so a certain way that we're supposed to always like you know help others which we should but like you know not severely anyways my point is is that we sometimes we've been taught that it's selfish to to worry about our own happiness and not really let other people's unhappiness affect us and but in reality it's very ironic because that's the best thing you can do for the collective consciousness is fix yourself and worry on your about your own happiness and 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 you know be happy and joyful because that in turn is helping more people energetically than um, most of us realize because we can't physically see it rather than like us lowering our vibration or lowering our standards to make other people feel better that's actually counterproductive so um and patience is obviously the theme here too with this temperance patience 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 and to see how things play out in the near future okay so yes this person does like you um it's just i think this person it has their own issues and their own things going on so i think there's another message here too pile four to not let that to not let that affect you and to not internalize it and take it personally it has nothing to do with your worth or your value or how this person perceives you it has nothing to do with you in general it's all about what they're going through right now if that makes sense. But I'm going to leave this reading here. Thank you so much. Um, I hope it helped. And thank you if you stayed till the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss another one. And I will see you at the next reading. Bye!